In this video, PEMF, the fifth element of health, I'm going to show you the connection between earth-based energy and the human body and how essential it is for our health. I call this the fifth element of health because it is essential for life to exist, otherwise we would die if we didn't get it. Now we take it for granted that because we live on the earth and the magnetic field of the earth, we're always sort of, just like a fish in water, we're always surrounded by this energy. We take it for granted that we need it. So here we have the, the, the energetic universe we live in, which is uh, really, really fascinating. You know, I have a background in physics, so this is really fascinating to me that, for example, every cubic centimeter of space has at least 10 to the 52 ergs of energy. Now that's more than a trillion, trillion nuclear explosions. In fact, that's so much energy that it could run our galaxy for about 300,000 years just a staggering amount of energy in every little cubic centimeter. In fact, when you look out into the vast expanses of space, only about 4% of the energy in the universe is visible matter, meaning the stars, the planets, you know, all the matter in the universe that, that, that can be seen, uh, that only accounts for about 4% of the energy. Now, the solar wind here on the Earth, we also live in a very highly energetic environment. And we, we take it for granted, we hardly realize how much energy is coming from the sun and how much energy is actually within our earth. And, um, you know, th this, this energy, you know, from the sun, it could actually kill us if we didn't have the protection of the earth's magnetic field. Um, the dynamo theory, in fact, the magnetic field of the earth is very dynamic and changing, not static. And it's produced by electron currents at the outer core which then produce a magnetic field, which has a very definable frequency. And, and we'll talk about these frequencies in, in a later part, so stay tuned for that. Now, not only is our Earth very energetic, but our body also is very energetic, the body electric. And this has been known for centuries, even maybe millennia. You know, the ancients called this ki, chi, prana. And in modern times, we have terms such as life force, auras, L fields, which stands for life fields and and many other term terminology but the key point here is that this energy from the body is actually very definable and measurable it's not just new age type of uh you know theories i mean this is real stuff in fact conventional medicine even acknowledges that you know with eegs ekgs emgs ncv which stands for nerve conduction velocity squids which stands for superconducting quantum interference devices you know that measures the magnetic field around the earth in fact, up to 15, up to 16 feet away, your heart field can be detected, and this has been verified. Now, we have in alternative therapies, we have Carillion photography, gas discharge visualization, and other forms of, of new technologies that can detect the energies out around the body and, and, and can give you a good picture of your health. And now energy medicine, as we use this word to describe the field of using energy as medicine instead of chemistry like drugs or, or, or nutrition um, has been around for a long time even going back to ancient Egypt when they used eels and, and lodestones and you know magnets were even used by uh, Cleopatra and known by Aristotle, Plato and ancient China um, so it's been around for a long time and in this day and age we have devices such as pulse electromagnetic field devices which is what we're focusing on in this video there's a, but there's also Rife machines, radionics devices, zappers, scanars, lasers, infrared, ionic foot baths, several different types of biofeedback devices, multi-wave oscillators, um, you know, scalar energy devices, and, and a whole lot.